Om Shanti, today is your 74th day of your blessing and here Baba is trying to tell us that how we need to serve ourselves and at the same time do world service, help other souls to come out of a lot of problems, mental issues and face their life with a lot of power. But then Baba says that if you don't serve yourself or if you don't remove your own weaknesses, then you might be able to impart the knowledge. Some souls might be able to absorb it, but some souls won't understand much. Why? Because they'll see that we ourselves don't have that much of strength or power or we don't have that change within us which we are asking them to have. So Baba says first, you have to remove your old sanskars, purify them and when you're going for service, if you find something which is lacking in you, immediately remove it so that you can do a, the, a refined form of service. Not just fine, but a refined form of service. So let's find out what Baba has to say over here in details. Baba says, may you become an embodiment of success by serving yourself. For serving yourself as well as serving others. So what does that mean? It says, in order to become an embodiment of success as well as serving others, also serve yourself. Let's get into depth about it. Whenever you go to do service, always think that together with doing that service, you're also finally creating, cremating of your old sanskars. You're cremating off your old sanskars. Means whenever I go for service, obviously whenever I am suggesting something on a spiritual level to somebody, I will realize that whether that weakness is there within me also or not. That is what is the benefit of doing service for others. We get to know what is lacking within us at that moment. Because when we say something, our consciousness can either bite us or our consciousness can support us. So if I am telling somebody to do something, if I have not done it myself, if I still have those old weaknesses or old habits or sanskars as we say, then obviously I have to immediately remove them as per God's guidance so that I can have an effect on that soul immediately. So then Baba says, the more you cremate your sanskars, the more respect you will receive. See, we always talk about cremation and in the Adi Sanatan Dharma, we say that the old sanskars or the antim sanskars or the last sanskars of our soul decide the next journey. Means what habits did you have before leaving your body will decide the quality of your next life. If you have a lot of ego or anger or jealousy or hatred within you, then that will decide what kind of family you're going to take birth in. And that is what is very crucial for us to understand. And that is what is godly knowledge or godly guidance or spiritual guidance, where we learn how to remove those old impure habits and become perfect before we leave this body. So then Baba says, the more you cremate your sanskars, the more respect you will receive from others. All souls will salute you with their minds. There's a salute from outside. You can have that. And people don't respect you from inside. But they have to do it just because they are in a situation or a place where they have to show that. But the true salute or the true respect will come only when what you are from inside and outside matches. So if your old sanskars are there but you're teaching others how to remove those old sanskars then that respect will not be from the mind. It will be only from the outside. So which respect do we want? Baba says. All souls will salute you with their minds. However, do not make them into those who simply salute you externally that we have already understood. But make them into those who salute you with their minds. Now how do we do that? For that we have to be what we preach. In this world, there are a lot of preachers, a lot of gurus, a lot of pundits who have been preaching, but people are tired of seeing that what they preach is what they do not practice themselves. And God says, don't become that. Become somebody which I have taught in the spiritual university to be who you are and to express who you are naturally and be inside, outside, same so that you can really do a true pure service of other souls. Otherwise, it won't be possible for you to move ahead in life by being something else inside and showing something outside. 
it's a very limited fruit which you'll earn for a very limited time where people might respect you from outside but not from their minds so what do we want to become let's contemplate about this on this vardhan think about it and meditate on it i leave you with this beautiful vardhan om shanti mm-hmm.